this video is 10 reasons what you can expect out of your skate progression, what it feels like to progress in skateboarding, things you can anticipate. Is it easy? Is it difficult? It ultimately comes down to how much you're willing to put in is how much you're going to get out of it. So I'm going to discuss that in this video. Let's uh, dive into it. I give you an easier time. Okay, it works for tail slide. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go over 10 things. The first one is repetition, because repetition is everything, not just skateboarding, but across disciplines. If you're gonna be reading a book, it takes consistency, dedication. If you're going to progress at artwork or math, it's gonna take putting your head down and working towards it. You're gonna to wanna to do the same thing over and over again a lot. It might get overwhelmingly dull, depends on what kind of person you are. So it's something to consider. Repetition is everything. Ah. Good. Oh. major key right here is delayed gratification. Everything about skateboarding is delayed because it takes time. It takes time to land a trick that you really want to do. It takes time to film a trick at a spot. It takes time to talk to distractions like security, people, etc. Listen to noises. Everything takes time, delayed gratification, big time. This thing is only delayed gratification. It literally takes forever to do anything. Even just to learn how to ride this thing takes time and practice. So don't expect instant results with this concept. Uh, in my head I was like, I'm in the frame. You need some wax? Friendly wax. Uh. <laughs> Another thing to keep in mind when you're progressing in skateboarding is associate with people who are better than you in life too. But with skateboarding, it's going to help you kind of see what's possible and catapult yourself into attempting things that are that are better, or they're going to give you tips. There's going to be more feedback available in that setting, and it's only going to help you progress faster. reason is staying joyously committed is what I described it as. You should just naturally have fun skateboarding and it'll show. The whole point of skateboarding is to have fun so if you're not having fun it's a little hard to trick people into thinking that you are. It's gonna make progression easier. There is no other reason to skateboard unless you're having fun and happy. I mean it's normal to see people upset with skateboarding but that's a reason because there's, they've had so much fun skateboarding that they're expecting results because of the level they've got to. Things are different. Muscle memory is much better. Not having the results you expect is annoying, but it doesn't discount the fact that they are still happy. They just aren't displaying it in the moment that you're witnessing it. Skateboard because you're glad you're excited about it. Don't skateboard because you're being told to or it's not making you happy. <laughs> I actually don't understand. It's so dumb. I did it first try and then changed boards, board direction, and it just cannot land it. Uh. Man, this is, this is relaxed. As my dad would always say, you're only as good as your equipment. That is a fact. The reason is because when your equipment isn't performing at a standard that it should, it's 
likely that you're going to get injured because of it. Your board's not flipping correctly. It's soft. It's getting sketchy. If you do have better equipment or the standard of equipment, it's going to help you do your tricks more precisely within control because it's responding the way it should because it's brand new. It's handcrafted for you to succeed at this. Having crusty or really aged equipment, it's necessary, but it will might, it might deter from you having clean tricks often. So this is the turning of the season. Uh, this is what I need all along. I'm gonna try to get a crispier version of it. That was not close at all, huh? Alright, so we're on to a new angle. Oh. Reason number six is flat ground is everything. I made a video on the importance of flat ground right there. Flat ground is the foundation to skateboarding. It's, it's how skateboarding began. When roller skating wheels were transitioned to a 2x4, it changed. But it was all about surfing, which was flat ground. It was mimicking waves, which all you required was the ground, the surface you're on. So flipping your board wasn't even necessary or even essential. So flat ground skateboarding is the foundation. You should just genuinely enjoy flat ground skateboarding. That should be enough, honestly. I used to skate flat ground every single day for hours with like my iPod Nano in, that little square iPod that was sick. My road, because the road was smoother, it recently got paved and I would go crazy on it. So I was obsessed with flat ground skateboarding for so long. And then in the winter, in the basement, more flat ground skateboarding in Canadian winters. So flat ground skateboarding, I vouch for if you want to progress quicker. Uh. Dude, you're kidding me, man. This is what I'm talking about. I have figured this trick out. But it's oddly enough that today isn't working correctly. Alright, that can be it. What is that? It's the seventh reason. Uh, do not expect results. Skateboarding, like I said, is delayed gratification. This thing is not going to do anything quickly unless you're patient and focused and driven to make it work, you know? You're going to stick with it for the long term that you'll have so much fun because of it. So no results. Don't expect results. It's not going to help. Don't focus on results in skateboarding. Having a goal is good, but just expect the goal to be a byproduct of you just putting in the work. That ties into my eighth reason, which is nobody's going to support you. Maybe not even your parents, not even your friends maybe. It's likely, it could be the case, they have just such a bad uh, perspective of what skateboarding is about. Those are, uh, don't expect any support, just know that you're doing the right thing if it's making you happy. And that's what's important because that's who you have to live with at the end of the day. Can you see the difference between rain spots and dry spots? It's just raining right now, which I predicted at six o'clock, I think. This is what the result is. This is actually pretty key because I often get asked for skateboard tips or like help figuring out how to land a trick, how to do a trick. It's very help, it's tips do help and showing someone more than anything helps. I learned through slow motion in videos and even Skate 3 when that was released or Skate 1, 2, 3. Course. Skateboarding is heavily a feeling process, so you shouldn't expect that it's a 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, X minus B squared is going to equal pi. No, it's not going to work like that. It's not going to work like that. It's going to be a feeling process, and with time and commitment, you will see, you will get to where you want to go. I don't even think personally trick tips help necessarily. They can indicate and drive you in the right direction, but I think watching slow motion videos is significantly more helpful. I predicted the rain to start at six, so I wanted to squeeze this video in because now look what has happened. I can't skate for a week, the forecast is predicted. Lastly for number 10 is expect judgment. Probably because nobody in your environment will appreciate you at first unless they get to know you as a person maybe. Uh, they might have negative connotations 
most people do. But as we kind of proceed into the future, skateboarding has become a living it a little bit. It's coming around, you know. People just look at it normally. If not, want to become a part of it because it's trending. Your parents, like I said, might not support you. Your friends might not support you. Your teachers might not support you. The principal, the security, the police don't support you. I'm just generalizing, so let's be light, be gentle with me. I'm just generalizing. And these are status quos of the past of skateboarding. Obviously we're up, we're changing, but the past was all those people I've listed were generally in disagreement with this tool. Why? Why does, why does that person have a smile on their face? It's because they're skateboarding. And I, we don't like that. Sarcasm. To finish this video off, I just want to talk about why I began skateboarding and why I stuck with it. It just surprised me what was possible when I first saw skateboarding and just extreme sports in general, like wakeboarding even, mountain biking. I used to watch these DVDs all the time about extreme sports. It just fascinated me with how these people could like launch themselves into the air and spin around and then land on their feet. It was just made no sense and I just wanted to know how. That's all it took for me to stick to it and I wanted to be like one of those guys I saw on my DVDs. That's enough reasons for me to call skateboarding a meaningful activity to do. It's brought me a lot of joy and mostly mental well-being. Through the years I've noticed it's a really good place for me to let my feelings out or stay grounded amongst lots of change. This thing has always been there for me. It's a place to bring the best of you out, bring meaning to your life and have your peers around you that are also encouraging you. It's a good feeling and I think it brings belonging, purpose and growth. So those are my reasons. Hope you enjoyed. There is many more reasons, but I'm going to close this off on that note. Okay. All right. So that's going to complete the ledge session here at UBC. I would have liked to get more variety, but I really can't risk not having another dry day for a week. I just wanted to create this video, so I just squeezed it in while I can. Now it's raining. This is the beginning of a week. Bye.